All right, guys, so this morning I went to go honk my train horn at a car that pulled out in front of me. And I do have a lot of wires running everywhere. My problem ended up being right here. And I know I have a whole lot of different wires, but when you clip in your plastic pieces, you can kind of see this got a little squish here. I may have to replace that at some point. But just be very careful with how you close all your clips up on your plastic because you can end up getting a short no fire this time no burn uh, i just went through a couple fuses and it took me a while to figure out exactly where it was right so i had to trace all this back pretty annoying right you know if i mean i guess you could avoid some of this if you label your wires and stuff um I had to take all this apart it's hard to see but tons of wire everywhere right it's ridiculous just trying to get all the way to that air horn trying to figure out where exactly my short is now now i have my working train horn and regular horn right but i got a relay here i've got everything uh that you could think of under the sun connected up to different wires old wires that i had back when i was lying around when i used to do installs years ago so Little fuse right here, 2015 Sonata. It's supposed to be 20. Right now I can honk it at seven and a half amps. I'm gonna switch it out to what it needs. And so you got that horn, and you got that horn. So uh, that took about an hour. Not very fun, but uh, always stay safe, use the right fuse. Try to label wires if you can. Um, and don't just keep on adding a higher amperage fuse because uh, you could definitely blow something. So uh, when you have relays, fuses everywhere, got to track down the wire. Um, that's the safest way to do it. It's extremely time consuming, uh, but that's the uh, only and correct way to do it.